Mike Richards joins us, and Mike is returning to Philadelphia this weekend for the alumni game Friday, Mike. Night. Mike, thanks so much yeah. for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Well, first off, I know it'll be your first time back putting on that Flyers uniform in front of these fans. What do you think that moment is going to be like? Yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've put an NHL jersey on, um, even longer since I put a Flyer one on. So looking forward to getting back, seeing everybody, and uh, it really will just be a fun weekend. Yeah, Richie, when I saw the lineup news, I was praying. I was had my yeah. fingers crossed that I was not going to be be in the lineup. And uh, when I saw your name, uh, you, were, you were the ultimate yeah. teammate, my man. You were the ultimate captain. Uh, I really enjoyed my time playing with you. And uh, uh, the, my, the shift that kind of embodies you was the shift in the 2010 uh, Eastern Conference Finals versus Montreal. We're going to take a uh, we're going to take a little peek of, at the video, but it just kind of embodies everything that you did for the Flyers. It was a penalty kill. You were you. You were rocking. You're going after the goalie here. Yeah. You tipped it past the lock. Just talk us about that shift and your memories of Philadelphia uh, Barn. Yeah, it was crazy that night. Um, that shift was just kind of something that just kind of happened. Um, got a lucky bounce, put it in. But um, I've said it a few times, but that that building at that moment was the loudest I've ever heard it. And that whole night was was just awesome. It was one of the... I see you. There's some fish or animal or something. Yeah. Going. What, what is your life like and what are you doing? It seems like you're in the wilderness all the time to me. Yeah. Uh, summertime, we're at home, northern Ontario. Um, right now we're in Florida, so we golf uh, my dad and I this afternoon. So um, trying to enjoy retirement, missing the game a little bit more and more now. It was nice to step away for a few years not have to watch much video but now you're slowly starting to get that itch and watching more hockey so even though enjoying retirement starting to miss the game a little bit more and um which will be nice this weekend to kind of be around it and just just kind of reminisce of, of the 11 years that i got to play in the nhl well, it seems like you're living a great life down there in <laughs> yeah. Florida, and I'm sure you're paying attention to this new era of Orange. But when you go back to when you played, yeah. what's your favorite memory of being a Philadelphia Flyer? Yeah, there's there's a few. Um, first goal, I think, is, is one that um, I see a little bit and just remember it was the first game, so it, it kind of coincided with that um, against Weeksy in New York. Mm -hmm or it was at home but against new york and then that 2010 playoff run was another one that um kind of coincides with the most disappointment that i was or disappointed that i was as a flyer too not being able to kind of close the deal there but um that run was special the finals was crazy just to see everybody in that city um just kind of get behind the team it, it was definitely a highlight of my career, not only my time playing um, in Philadelphia. Yeah, Richie, well, with, uh, then your time ended in Philadelphia. You yeah. get traded to L.A. It was, it was a shock to yeah. you. It was a shock to, to yeah. me. It was a shock to everyone in Philadelphia. And you were so beloved by the Flyers fans. They followed your career. Uh, so you leave Philadelphia yeah. and you go win two Stanley Cups and everyone's probably just dying yeah. in Philadelphia. Uh, how was that to, uh, to you? I know some of the, uh, your teammates uh, that you played with in L.A., but talk about the, the, the two Stanley Cups and, and the, the rest of your career. Yeah, yeah, it was obviously worked out. Um, disappointed when it happened, especially like basically going across the country all the way to L.A. And you know what it's like getting traded or, or moving teams. It always takes you a little bit to, to get to know your teammates, get to know the city that you're living in and, and kind of feel comfortable. But um, the team in L.A. did a great job. We obviously had success there right away in terms of winning. Um, but there was a lot of ups and downs to, to start my career in L.A., um, but obviously ended, ended pretty good that year and then a few years later. So um, nothing but good things to say about the Kings. They did they had obviously a great team, and even though yeah, we won two Cups in L.A., you, you always remember where you started out and, and remember those first few years and those good times to, to start your career, too. So who are you most excited to see when you come back here? Please don't say Hartnell. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about playing because I saw a picture of Scotty. I think Kimo was there. 
Riley, those guys are skating, so I haven't been skating down in Florida, so I'll be a little bit slower than those guys. <laughs> you're, you're not going to be slower, I'll promise you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I actually, I saw the list yesterday, two days ago, whatever it was, but um, I think we got everything covered. John LeClaire is there, the big man, Mike Knubel, another guy that I, that I got to play with. So there's not really one specific person that I'm I'm excited to see. It'll just be nice to see a lot of the guys that I played with, the guys that were around the, um, when I was there that played before me, and then obviously um, a lot of the guys that still work for the Flyers, um, guy friends that I've kind of kept in touch with, even though I haven't been back to Philly for a while. So it'll be just nice to see everyone get back in that building. Uh, we're going to the game on Saturday as well, so I haven't actually seen a game live there since I think – probably when I was 19, so 19 years ago, which is crazy. Um, even when I was sitting out with the Flyers, I'd always be up in the press box or, or underneath kind of doing our thing. So never got to enjoy a game there for a long time in the crowd. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, the whole weekend should be fun. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, Richie. I, I just have to ask you too. Sorry, Rick Bone. Uh, do you know how do you yeah. remember how you got your name, Rick Bone? And are you any better at Big Buck Cutter? I want to know. I had a couple video games. Are yeah. you any better? <laughs> I'm not better. Um, but yeah, actually, when I put my name in to your arcade system, which yep. is which is awesome. Um, I always thought there was just three letters, so I just put R-I-C, and that's where, where Rick came from, yeah, and then Nasty bone. threw in the bone. And, um, <laughs> but I can say my game is not any better. I'm not much of a video game guy, but um, that hasn't improved since then. Yeah, those are some good times, late night. <laughs> yeah, uh, those were really fun. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard there's too many late nights from, from that time. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rumors <laughs> At least were. that's what I'm told. Rumors, <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> well, Mike Richard, thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy the weekend coming up. And a reminder, you can buy tickets for the Flyers alumni game Friday night at flyerscharities.com. All right, thank you.